Picture the universe not as a chaotic expanse, but as a vast elegant symphony, a cosmic performance where every star, planet and moon contributes to an intricate melody that has echoed since the dawn of time. Galaxies spiral like graceful dancers, stars shimmer in rhythmic pulses, and planets orbit in their silent, synchronized choreography. This grand composition unfolds in complete harmony across the vacuum of space. Yet within this universal music, there exists a particular section that has puzzled and intrigued astronomers for centuries, the mysterious and largely unseen world of exoplanets. Exoplanets are not simply planets orbiting other stars, they are potential new worlds, each with its own story, atmosphere and geological identity. They exist beyond our solar system, far from the familiar pull of our sun, and reside in the cold, distant arms of the Milky Way. Some are gas giants like Jupiter, others are rocky like Earth, but all remain shrouded in layers of mystery. With every new discovery, we are reminded of just how vast and unknown our galaxy truly is. Among these discoveries, one exoplanet in particular has captivated scientists and stoked the fires of curiosity and imagination. Its name is Proxima b Proxima b, lies only 4.2 light-years away, orbiting our nearest stellar neighbor Proxima Centauri. That might sound distant, but in astronomical terms, it's practically next door. If it were possible to travel at the speed of light, one could reach it in just over four years, the same span as a single presidential term or the time it takes for your favorite television series to fall in and out of pop culture. This proximity, combined with the planet's potentially Earth-like characteristics, makes Proxima b one of the most compelling candidates in the search for life beyond Earth. To put this in context, the Milky Way galaxy is estimated to contain over a quadrillion exoplanets, a one followed by 15 zeros. That's more than all the grains of sand on all the beaches on Earth. If each exoplanet were the size of a grain of sand, they would not only fill the Grand Canyon, they would overflow it, spilling out into the desert and forming an entirely new geological wonder. Grand Canyon 2.0, stretching for miles. What's even more astonishing is that about 20% of these planets are believed to be similar to Earth in terms of atmosphere and geology. That means one in five might have the conditions necessary to support life. And where there are planets, there are likely to be moons. Imagine another quadrillion celestial satellites, rocky, cratered, icy or volcanic, orbiting their planets in silent eternal dances, these moons, like our own, could help stabilize a planet's tilt, regulate its climate, and possibly even host their own forms of life. The potential is staggering. With each new data set, the universe appears more generous in its possibilities, more open to the idea that Earth may not be the only harbor for life. At the heart of this modern exploration is a revolutionary tool that has redefined how we see the cosmos. The James Webb Space Telescope, often called the successor to the Hubble, is not merely an observational device. It is a full-fledged laboratory, a cosmic detective, and an engineering marvel. Its 6.5-meter gold-coated mirror is nearly three times the size of Hubble's, allowing it to capture the faintest traces of light from galaxies billions of light-years away. Unlike its predecessor, Webb is designed to observe in the infrared spectrum enabling it to see through clouds of dust and gas that previously concealed the birthplaces of stars and planets. But what makes the James Webb Telescope truly transformative is its ability to analyze light using its advanced spectrographs. Every element and molecule in a planet's atmosphere leaves a distinct fingerprint in the form of light absorption or emission at specific wavelengths. By examining these light signatures, scientists can deduce the chemical makeup, temperature, pressure, and even potential biological markers of an exoplanet's atmosphere. In effect, the Webb Telescope performs remote diagnostics, peeling back the atmospheric layers of worlds we can't yet visit and offering clues about their potential to support life. This is where science becomes forensic, with tools more precise than any Earth-based laboratory Webb can identify signs of water vapor, methane, carbon dioxide, and even oxygen, the holy grail of life as we know it. It is not just passively looking at distant objects, it is investigating them, interrogating the light itself to reveal their secrets. 
With this kind of capability, a new era of planetary science has begun, one where speculation is increasingly replaced with analysis and where questions that once seemed philosophical are now rooted in data. Proxima b remains one of the most alluring targets for such investigation. Since its discovery in 2016, this exoplanet has stood out like a Shakespearean protagonist, enigmatic, complex, and full of paradox. It is located in the so-called habitable zone of its parent star, the region where temperatures could allow liquid water to exist on the surface. Not too hot, not too cold, just right. This Goldilocks condition raises the possibility of lakes, rivers, and maybe even oceans sculpting a terrain not unlike our own. But Proxima b is not without its peculiarities. A single day on Proxima b lasts about 11 Earth days. That means sunrises and sunsets unfold in slow motion, creating extended periods of twilight and golden light. To a human observer, it might be hauntingly beautiful, a photographer's dream. But such prolonged exposure to daylight and darkness could have profound effects on the planet's climate and the biology of any life forms that might exist. Would humans be able to adapt to such cycles? Would we sleep longer, eat differently? Our internal clocks, hardwired to Earth's 24-hour rhythm, might find the environment both familiar and deeply alien. It is as if nature has handed us a riddle that echoes our own world, yet defies its rules. Our ability to answer these questions, to push past the edge of what we know, lies increasingly in the hands of the instruments we build. The James Webb Telescope deploys its capabilities like a Swiss army knife in space, versatile, precise, and incredibly powerful. By collecting and decoding the light of distant worlds, it performs something akin to a biopsy, diagnosing their properties without ever needing to land a probe. It's as if we had a microscope trained on planets light years away, turning the unknown into the knowable, the abstract into the measurable. Then, just when it seemed like the story of Proxima b couldn't get more intriguing, something unexpected happened. Scientists monitoring the planet detected a highly unusual signal, an electromagnetic transmission that did not resemble any known natural phenomena. It was labeled a potential techno-signature, a signal that could possibly indicate the presence of intelligent life. For a brief moment, humanity's breath caught. Was this it? Had we finally intercepted a message from another civilization? The signal did not repeat. It disappeared as mysteriously as it had arrived, leaving behind a flood of questions, a tidal wave of theories. Was it a rare cosmic event, a strange interaction of magnetic fields, or could it have been a deliberate transmission, a message sent across the void that we just barely managed to catch? The silence that followed was almost louder than the signal itself. Proxima b, once just a promising exoplanet, now stood at the center of a cosmic mystery, its name echoing across scientific journals, research labs and social media debates. But science does not stop at mysteries, it deepens them. Now researchers at Harvard and other institutions are taking the next step. They are pushing the James Webb Telescope to new frontiers, using it to look not just for natural light, but for artificial illumination. The idea is breathtaking in its simplicity and ambition. If advanced civilizations exist, perhaps their cities glow in the dark, just as ours do. Perhaps their streets are lined with artificial light, visible even from light years away. By analyzing the light from the dark sides of exoplanets, scientists hope to detect patterns that cannot be explained by nature alone. Imagine looking through a telescope and seeing the faint, regular glow of a distant city. Not a star, not a reflection, but the unmistakable footprint of intelligent life humming softly in the darkness of another world. It would be the ultimate discovery, one that would forever alter our understanding of our place in the cosmos. And yet, the ink on this cosmic story is far from dry. With every observation, every spectrograph, every burst of data, we add new layers to the unfolding narrative. The universe, vast and ancient, is no longer a silent expanse. It is speaking to us in the language of light, gravity, and time. And... We, for the first time, have the tools to listen. What lies beyond the next star? Another Earth? 
a civilization lost in time, or something entirely beyond our imagination. The journey has only begun, one exoplanet at a time, one beam of starlight. At a time we are piecing together the great cosmic puzzle, and perhaps one day soon we will find that we are not alone.